the tips here. You can see how uh, the uh, smaller or the HSOTB is longer and it has, I guess, uh, cooling fins <laughs> built into it. Uh, this is larger and more stubby. Uh, they're both uh, conical to guide the tip into the iron. But of course, this is going to be a larger bore diameter than this one right here. Uh, but the specifications for each are uh, 9 to 20 volts, 100 to 450 Celsius. The display green screens are the same at 0.96. Uh, the weight is the same. Uh, power supply is uh, USB-C. They're both PD and QC compliant, 100 watt max. Um, so the, the tips are really the difference in these two irons. Smaller thermal mass, this one right here is actually trying to keep the, temp the tip at temperature uh, almost constantly. It's, it's only just a few seconds that it'll go to zero voltage, zero amperage, and zero wattage. And then it comes back up again and it's, it's regulating again, whereas this one right here is taking longer for it to do that. Let me shut these off and I will be right back as soon as these are cold, cooled back down all the way. Okay, so they've cooled down. Uh, one, and this is another uh, deal that of course would be obvious if, if I thought about it, but uh, I'm a goober, I don't think. Um, so this one was cooled down, I don't know, less than a minute, maybe 30 seconds, something like that. And I could touch the tip, you know, there, there wasn't any problem with, with touching the tip. This one right here, I literally uh, had to take some pliers, pull it, hold it, and blow on the tip. And, and it took about five minutes to get this one cooled down. Let me give them, oh, I didn't change. You know what? I'm a good, you, did I, have I mentioned that I'm a goober? Uh, uh, just in case, you know, I just want to make sure you know I'm a goober. Um, no. <laughs> yes, okay, so we're going to sleep set. And sleep time, let's change it to... I mean, five minutes is reasonable. Hit it, on, off, hold it, you go back one menu. So we're gonna hit it, set it to five minutes, and we're set to five minutes. Then standby on both of them, we will change it to 10 minutes. But just to show you the, the menus as that they're the same. Uh, and you can see the, if you if just refer to the HSO2B because there's really, it's, it's redundant to go in and show you all the menu system on the HSO2A uh, because they're the same as HSO2B. But I'm just gonna step through the menus to show you all of the settings that you've got here. So you can see that the menus are exactly the same. Okay, we'll go back. That's handle set. And then we'll go to sleep set. And again, we were just in there. That's all the menu options. We'll go back. And then we'll go to system set. So you'll see you've got language, English, uh, hand mode, which is right-handed, left-handed, which actually just flips the display. That's on both uh, both irons. You got units, which you can go from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Volume, which changes that beat, changes the volume all the way down to until you shut it off. Brightness, which changes the display brightness. Firmware update, which is not used on these irons. I don't I don't see an option to where it's used. You basically download the uh, firmware, you hold the OK down, button down, plug it into a computer, a drive shows up, you copy the firmware over to the drive that shows up, 
and then unplug it and plug it back in to a power supply. It starts up and it's updated. It's as simple as that. Uh, we'll go down to about, which is the last. No, it's not factory. So we'll go to about and you'll see that the only difference between the two is HSO2A and HSO2B. Uh, and, and of course the A is already updated, so I don't, I don't need to update it, but it updates the, the same way as this iron right here. So, and of course you got a factory data reset and that's the last options that you have. So it's real simple, easy menu setup, menu system. It's nothing special about it. Uh, and then hold this button down to back up. Okay. So that was my middle daughter telling me that we got pizza. So anyway, so here we are, uh, just backed out of the menus. The menus are the same. The settings for the menus are the same. If you want details on the menus, just leave some comments, let me know. And I will do a detailed uh, video on just going through the menus through these irons. So, and as a, <clears throat> a side note, but an important one, if you feel led to, I would ask you if you would uh, like and subscribe, comment down below on what comments you've got. If you want to know more about these, if maybe this is too much or what, but comments are very helpful to me. And if this is helpful to you, I know it's a, a small thing. It is, doesn't seem like that much, but it means a lot to me when I hear someone say that this helped them, something helped them. So if you would comment and let me know if this is doing you something, if this is helping you in some way, that, that makes me feel like this is all worth it. A okay, preset. Okay, preset one and preset one. So I'm going to let it balance out. Okay. So now I am showing they're bouncing or they're regulating between two and 10 Watts at, let's see. They seem to be pretty steady at between two Watts and 10 Watts. Doesn't seem to be going below two watts, except when it just hits zero um, or above 10 watts. And it appears that they're both either zero or one half amp, and of course, both 20 volts. So let's do it in reverse here. We'll go to three and three. And still see this one gets there first. So you can see that they're both hitting their presets really quick because I would tend to be soldering smaller, more delicate components with the HSO2B versus the HSO2A. I would be soldering more, uh, more heavy, <laughs> goober again, more heavy components with this one than this one. So uh, really, I, I love these irons. I really do. I, I, I really, I, I have a uh, soldering station, but it'll probably never come out again. Uh, we're just going to do this number right here and I'm going to see, let these sit here for a minute at the max preset temperature. And here we are. We got them plugged in, touching the tips. I feel a little bit of warmth. Uh, the, you can see I'm putting it, I'm not no ninja here. Uh, that's a soft part of my arm. I can feel a little bit of heat, but nothing, not even remotely uh, to any degree bothersome. Uh, and yes, there's still a lot, of, there's still some heat on that, that tip. So there you have it. I mean, you, you can easily run from job to job. You don't have to wait for these to cool down before you can put them up. You just slap that top on there. They go straight back in the case when we do the head to head on all the uh, soldering irons. So again, uh, I thank you so much for spending your time here with me. If you're still awake and you're still here, 
Uh, I definitely appreciate you. I appreciate every single one of you, and I thank you for uh, being subscribers. And if you're not, I would like to ask you if you would like and subscribe this video. Uh, or like this video and subscribe to the channel. How about that? So anyway, uh, thanks for being around. I appreciate you spending your precious time here with me. I thank you for that time, and God bless.